Chris from the Hagen Factory. This week's video, we've got the second part of the Steve Knight video. Uh, he shows us a bit more of his collection. There's two parts to this. A bike that we restored out of new parts, which is absolutely fantastic. And the second part of the video is a two-valve jar engine, which absolutely exploded, and it's worth a look. Uh, he tells us a story about that, so let's have a look. Seven Jawa. Um, the engine was bought out of the UK off a young fella. His father bought it to put in a hill climber, but he died unfortunately. And I end up with the motor. The thing about the motor is it's number 215 off the off the uh, assembly line. And I give it to Gavin Sedgman to go through it, and he rang me up and he couldn't believe it that the engine hadn't even been fired. Which, yeah, that's amazing. That's a bonus, Yeah, you know, for starters. So it's basically been pulled pulled down, put back together, um, and we've built this bike, built this bike up, which is basically all brand new. The stand, but I haven't rode it. Haven't ridden it. Yeah. Haven't rode it on a track yet. But um, it's a nice, nice piece of nice piece of kit. It is. It's a pretty little bike. Yeah, it, it is a pretty little bike. Yeah. Yep. Who did the five glass for that one? Um, that come from over uh, GV First Quality Glass, I think their name is. Yeah. Okay. They come from England. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, different design. Yeah. Bill, Bill Allen does all my all my mud guards. Yeah. Uh, has in the past, but I think Bill was busy at the time, so we. We got them. Yeah, just got, got what you can get. Just yep. got that done. Time, so. uh, that's it's a beautiful bike. I really love it. Yeah. Uh, it was a nice, nice job to do. It's easy when everything's new. Well, you do a great job. Yeah. It comes up yeah. so good. Yeah. And I like your work. Very happy with it. Yeah. You see a lot of um, Smegway bikes and bikes don't use spaces. They use just piles of washers and all that sort of stuff. And I reckon yeah. that lets down. Yeah, the build right. doesn't. I know yeah. it's probably what they did in the day because they were crashing them and pulling them apart all the time. Yeah. But if you're going to build them like this, you might as well do them properly. Do them properly. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it doesn't take any longer. No, that's does it? right. No, it doesn't. And yeah. look, to be honest, they're a nice, easy build. You know, yeah. they're easy to build. Uh, I just love them. I, I can't. I've been I doing. I've that. been playing with them, like restoring them, since I was probably in my thirties. I'm sixty-three yeah. now. Yeah, so, yeah. And I've. Let a few good bikes go, but now I've got a good quality, good quality of bikes here now. So uh, it's time to get a few back on the track and have yeah. a ride. It is. It's a bit of a shame we don't have anything in Bendigo. It is. is. It? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to have a track here in Bendigo. The Broadfords, uh, it's Broadford's close enough. Broadfords not too bad. Yeah, it's, it's close, close enough. Isn't close it? enough. Yeah, it's and close. it's a good safe track. It is. Yeah, yeah. I like it over Big there. Big corners, so you know, plenty of room. Yeah, plenty of room to move. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't get, if you have a look on the wall there, there's a nice picture of the old engine builder, Neil Street. Yeah. That's an original, original photo of him riding for Exeter. Yeah. And then there's another one up on the, up on here of uh, Neil riding for Newport. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bill Allen, give me those, give me those photos. Yeah, they're great photos, aren't they? Yeah. It's good to have a good lot yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Neil, Neil used to do all my engines when you come home. I used to basically do most people's engines when you come home. Yeah. Um, I had a really good friendship with Neil through Phil Baker. Phil Baker used to take me down there because at some stages I didn't even have a license. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. It would have been some interesting trips with Phil. Ah, yeah. Yeah, the, the talk. So Phil worked for Neil over in England when he went over there. Yeah, yeah, right. I didn't uh, know that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they, have a, they had a very strong... Friendship. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot like, of respect. A lot of respect. And Phil's an excellent tradesman too. Yeah. You yeah. can trust his work. Yeah. You? you do a fantastic yeah. job. Yeah. 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 Thorough. Thorough. Yeah, very thorough. Yeah. yeah. So, and up on here, we've got a few vests of Gollops. The, the Sunbright Jubilee one there is Tatum, uh, Tatum what's his name? I can't remember his name. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Here's the old Australian one, yeah. an old one. Yeah, that's an original uh, Aussie test test vest, number four, I think it is, a Queensland rider up there, rode that in 1952, that yeah. was his vest. Excellent. And we've got Swindon Robbins, the old Crumpies, old team, and then a Hancock one from the S, 
from this GP's. Unbelievable. This, this motor here was in a two bulb jail speedway bike that I used to race and I took it up to a friend's farm and a practice track and Neil Street rebuilt the engine but I silly over revved the engine and that's the damage it's done to it. So if you can get in there and have a look at that. left in the bottom. Disintegrated the whole bike. This probably side's probably better. And it's um disintegrated the whole bike. The old and magneto. Yeah, just the whole lot just smashed the thing to pieces. Yeah. So uh, that's what happens if you don't and we found out that the cause of the problem was the steel rod was fatigued. Yeah okay. Age. Yeah. So as you can see here yeah busted off. Busted yeah. off and then the rest so of So it didn't seize the gadget. No, nope. just break the rod. Break the rod. Wow. And then the rest. They normally seize the gadget. Yeah. First, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And it, this just ran. This just ran around the bottom end until it, it pulled me up <laughs> like a boat anchor. Once yeah, it would. smashed smashed the engine plates off the front of the diamond. Would have been dragged along with the ground. And just wouldn't? pulled me up. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> that would have been an expensive repair. Right, hey. Same as every other week. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody. Let's bring Hagen back.